it's here. It's time to start getting real about it. And I think the public needs to start wrapping their head around the fact that this is coming to a community near you. One of the things we talk about in the industry is all of the cheap water is gone. We no longer get to pump groundwater or surface water reservoirs are, are already strained. We're at capacity. We're, we're building more, we're building more, we're expanding. A lot of the water sources that feed the large population centers are starting to dry up. Water scarcity, right? Locations that maybe used to have an abundant water supply, now they're kind of working into water stress situation. The demands on mother nature have grown tremendously. For instance, the Colorado River is a, is a dwindling resource. In addition to that, there's just extreme weather events. So we're seeing now three years of drought, five years of drought, followed by a tremendous amount of volume of water with just a lot more precipitation or a lot more extreme events. And with that, we really have to be prudent with our water resource and how we utilize this resource and treat it. So uh, these are unique times uh, that are requiring us to adapt. If nothing changes in our approach, the, the ramifications and the consequences will be significant. Well, I mean, we're already seeing it. People fighting over water rights, right? Colorado aqueduct. The issues related with that, with people fighting over the water rights, that's gonna become more prevalent. That means that agriculture will not be sustainable. Escalation costs related to having clean water. Community health concerns pop up because we're not we're not handling this resource to the best of our ability. Population bases will be required to cut back on their usages. It really is on us to come up with a way where not just we're doing projects or because the, the law change of our discharge requirement or our treatment requirement, but we're really using this as a resource and maximizing the potential to eliminate water loss. If we have water loss, we're doing something wrong. Um, the urgency is high. Because if, if somebody removed all the gold from the world, no one's gonna die. If somebody removes all the water from the world, we're all dead. We have to plan for it. We have to pregame and come up with a way to take it that one step further and be able to reuse this resource. It's coming down to just using every drop. So in 2014, the State Water Board issued us a new permit that required us to upgrade our treatment processes to start removing certain contaminants. So the Slow Water Plus upgrades, the job in San Luis Obispo, they are enhancing their current treatment process and more effectively treating their wastewater with MBR UV. They're able to, with this new enhanced treatment, meet their new regulatory requirements and reuse the water, put it back into their system, which is then used for park uh, irrigation, school irrigation. A lot of areas that were being wasteful with the potable supply are now gonna be removed and they're gonna be fed with non-potable Title 22 reuse water. It's more robust. It's capable of meeting large fluctuations in water demands. And, and they've started to reuse some of the energy for the plant back into the plant so they've created you know, improving its environmental, uh, its environmental footprint. And then on top of that, they're also recycling some of the water, which is just, just really good for all of us. The upgrades are also just future thinking. It's not just for the next three or five years. They've, they've done a tremendous job um, upgrading this plant so that it can be um, available for the next 30 and 50 years. And the reason we've been able to achieve it is because we've had all of those partners at the table every single time. Every time we've had to make a decision, every time we've had to make a field design change, everything has been a collaborative and open and transparent process and it has paid dividends. The other thing that they have done is the emphasis on collaborative delivery, which means that designers, owners, and construction partners are all working together to design solutions and that's a much more effective way to deliver projects. And we've, we've, we've come together and we've just perfected that dance. And it's, it's, been, it's involved operators, it's involved maintenance technicians, city engineering team, or design engineering team, and, and certainly PCL being the, the choreographer of the entire deal. So we're very much a part of the solution, not just a, a builder or a constructor, we're a partner. It is fulfilling as a PCLer to know you're helping a community. I was born and raised in San Luis. I'm raising my children in San Luis. This is setting the community up for success. I have deep-rooted passion for this community, 
and I get to serve my community by being here taking care of this this resource and, and yeah without a doubt without a doubt this this upgrade is is setting the stage for a more resilient future in the face of a changing climate.